What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do an interesting review slash test of the DJI 04 camera versus DJI 03. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna mount one of these little AGQ G-Port gimbals right on top of the Avada 2. And we're gonna fly both at the same time. I'm gonna show you an on-screen comparison of both the 03 and the 04 on the same drone at the same time and on the same video. So that'd be a lot of fun. And while we're doing it, I'm gonna review the HEQ G-Port gimbals. They have two different versions. They have an 03 version, and you can also get a Cadex analog version. So whether you're running an analog camera, if you wanna put it on a fixed wing aircraft or a multi-rotor, it will mount vertically like this, or you can have it hang just like a traditional gimbal. And it'll give you that kind of uh, extra smooth video that some of you guys are looking for. Image stabilization comes with the O3, but this is just gonna give us a little different feel to this camera. And I'm interested to see how it translates to the DJI O3 footage stabilization with a gimbal on there versus the O4 non-stabilized. So this one's mechanical. It only has a one axis gimbal on the front up and down and no side to side stabilization. So let's go ahead and do a comparison of both of them now. Let's have some fun. Here we go. All right guys, so we're at the field now. I've got it all rigged up and I have a 4S 750 milliamp right in the middle. The GPS is somewhere underneath basically either the battery or the front gimbal. So hopefully we get enough satellites to be able to get a home lock and take off with the Avada too. But I thought this would be fun to do. I could have done it on some other type of multi-rotor. I've got seven inch, I've got fixed wing, but for some reason, it just kept occurring to me that I should compare the O4 to the O3. And I wanna fly it today with my goggles too. I'm not gonna fly it with the Avada 2 goggles that are the goggles three. I'm gonna fly it with the, the goggles two in this gimbal view. So you guys get an, an idea of what it feels like to fly in the O3, but also kind of my reaction to flying with a stabilized O3 on the Avada 2. So uh, you get kind of two in one experiences here today with the comparison and my kind of reaction to flying stabilized uh, with this Cinewoo. So it's gonna be pretty cool and uh, kind of crazy. I put the VTX on the very back back here, just a little bit of 3M sticky tape underneath here. And it's kind of wild because I have this gimbal also powered and with the VTX together. So I just spliced it through together. XT30 here is gonna connect everything. And uh, yeah, thankfully it didn't fry my VTX, but this can be powered from like seven to like 26 volts or so. So you could literally just power this HEQ gimbal straight to say your VBAT on your, your quad or drone if you wanted to, or your fixed wing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and grab the motion controller and uh, let's get this thing going. Okay, let's compare the DJI 04 to the DJI 03, and we're gonna give you a look at what the HEQ G-Port gimbal looks like with the 03 on the Avada 2 at the same time with the DJI 04 above. So DJI 04 on the top part of the screen, DJI 03 on the bottom. And just look at how crazy this looks. It's really trippy for me to fly this because Normally I'm in my goggles three and I'm looking at this Avada view on the very top. But today I'm just going out on a limb and we're gonna fly it with my goggles two on that bottom screen. So all I see is what I'm seeing on the bottom screen. And it's really strange to me to fly this without having that feel left and right bank and pitch and yaw and all that axis to everything all stabilized. The three axis gimbal really changes a lot. And again, like I'm not saying that one is better than the other. I'm just giving you an example of what a three axis gimbal looks like on the Avada 2 in comparison to that kind of standard FPV view that we're used to with the Avada 2. And it is quite a difference. It's kind of amazing what a three axis motorized gimbal can do to just kind of stabilize some footage and really change the feel of video. This is more like what you'd see traditionally with a Mavic Mini 3 and the Mini 4. And that is really pretty neat. And I'd say as far as video quality, I like the 04, I think it looks great. The color is a little more true. In the 03 footage, it's more heavily saturated. Maybe the color is a little overblown. 
There's better cloud definition with the 04 as well. But that is pretty cool to see the difference between the two. I want you guys to see something kind of neat here. Watch, I'm going to get going and I'm just going to stop and see, you can probably maybe see the Avada in the 03 view down bottom, kind of like swing in front of it. You can see how good that gimbal works. You ready? We'll just go full speed and then we'll come to a stop. See that Avada 2 pop up in the screen? That is so funny. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting how it feels like I'm flying like a traditional DJI camera drone and I don't have that kind of like side to side FPV feel. So if you wanted to kind of have like another way to get some Mavic style footage on your Avada 2, you could get one of these, put an O3 on there, and you literally could record two 4K video streams at once to DVR. That would be pretty cool. So let's go up real high real quick. And let's check out the horizon up here. It's starting to rain on me a little bit. That's pretty cool. Probably see those raindrops coming down. Hopefully that exposed gimbal electronics up there doesn't just quit on me. But if it does, again, I can just pick up my 04 goggles. Still recording with both goggles and DVR. And so in, in these goggles, I obviously don't have any type of battery display, um, satellite count and things like that on the O3 setup here. It's not wired into the flight controller. So it's kind of like a standalone type of unit, but it's super cool to fly this way. I can come down here low along the tree line. And I'd like to like see that abrupt stop. I want to try to put it in sport mode Right now it seems like I put it into uh, the wrong mode there. I grabbed return to home. Okay, so now we should be in sport mode so we can go a little faster now. You guys can get an idea of like, hopefully I don't throw this gimbal off of the Avada too. But we're just gonna kind of speed around now so you can get an idea of what this gimbal is capable of. Now this, this is the sketchiest part where could eat up a wire on the O3. I have everything pretty well zip tied. But I can hear that Avada 2 out there just screaming. You know, and this is kind of like what drones and FPV are all about for me is like trying something new, experimenting, and in a way, like having a backup system on there. I mean, obviously, I'm going to get a little bit less flight time having this extra weight on there. We could weigh all of this and see what it weighs for you guys if you want. I'll let you know in this video what everything weighs. I'll put it up on the screen. That looks pretty cool from up above. I, th I think this gimbal, as far as cinematic footage goes, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see any glitches or anything like that. Let's, let's try to fly through here. An abrupt, whoop. Almost clipped that tree right there. Should probably go back in the uh, normal mode, but I really like flying in sport mode. Now, if you're flying like manual mode or acro, this gimbal wouldn't make a lot of sense. It wouldn't make a lot of sense to use this because really you just wouldn't need it. It might go wacky if I do a flip or a roll. But on a fixed wing, like long range plane or something like that, a full OSD on here, this would be amazing. Or if you just wanted to take like a simple quadcopter, like FPV drone, and turn it into a full out cinema rig. You could literally make like your own Mavic 3 with this type of setup, just on a regular quadcopter. My whole point too is just to kind of show you guys the, uh, wow, you can see when that Avada comes to a stop. It was just to show you guys like what the AMB looks like. The 04 versus the 03. Hopefully that was a good test for you guys to see the difference. Now I'm gonna go back into uh, normal mode.
Okay, we should be in normal mode now. I, I long pressed it and it went into, uh, nope, we're still in sport mode. All right. Gonna stop for a sec. That view looks amazing. What do you guys think about this view? I mean, so far we've been recording for about seven and a half minutes. I'm in normal mode again. One of my funnest things to do is just fly close to the ground. Like that's still one of my favorite things after like a decade of, over a decade of flying FPV. Just like to get low. I'm not a big fan of like flying super high up, but man, this is pretty cool. It's so weird to fly the Avada 2 without looking through the Avada 2 camera. <laughs> it's tripping me out. That is the biggest trip of this whole like, experimentation. And you know, if I was using this as a backup system, like if you're a real estate person, you could slap one of these on there. And instead of having a GoPro on there, you could have this set up. I mean, some people are flying a GoPro on the Avada too. But if you have a secondary camera system, then you have a backup. Like if something goes wrong and you get home, you forgot to press record, you thought you got it, and maybe you got it on your second system. So that's pretty cool. But I think this was fun. Maybe we can do some more testing and experimentation. For $150, you can add an O3 on the gimbal, slap it on anything you want, or you can get the Cadex version and you can slap an analog camera on one of those gimbals and pretty much have stabilized cinema style flying, which is really neat. That is pretty cool. I just love the way that looks. That is awesome. I fly a lot of acro FPV all the time in manual flying, so just kind of cruising around is really fun. All right, so now I'm at the end of my battery. I'm gonna go ahead and come home, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I'll put a link to HEQ's system. I'm gonna try to override that return to home real quick. Oh, it's just gonna keep coming. But leave some comments down below. Please like, subscribe, and for sure, look for new videos coming out soon on the channel because I get all the newest gear to test out for you guys and have fun with and experiment with. I'm Justin Davis. Guys, take care, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. It tried to tip over on me. See you guys later. <laughs>